Hey there, Sunshine. It's Michelle here, and it is Monday. I had to check my mics to make sure that my mic is recording because every once in a while I just need to check that. I really hate it when I recorded this big long video and then all of a sudden I realized I didn't have any sound. Anyway, I'm going to talk about my plans for the week. I'll show you. I actually have a finished object. I don't normally plan to show those in um, a Monday video, but it goes with the theme of another thing I'm talking about, so it will get showed here. Shown here. Anyway, um, I actually wrote notes. This is a rocket book, reusable paper. I just got it. I'm finding it fascinating. Do I like writing on it? Do I really use it? Like, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna like it. But so far, so good. I've been using it for a week, week and a half. I don't know. Anyway, so before I talk about what I want to do yarn-wise this week, let me tell you. Typically, I do managing my health um, and depression, so I have mental health and physical health things that affect me. And so I typically spend my days managing that, making sure that my kids are doing their homeschool or online school, um, getting kids to and from work, managing all of the household stuff, trying to get a uh, house as clean as possible with my health conditions and all these things. But those that's look like typically that and YouTube and yarn stuff. I, it's usually, for the most part, not super busy but still busy for me because of my health reasons like if I didn't have my mental health stuff I would not feel busy at all normally tonight this evening my daughter has a choir concert for school uh, I still have all the running around to do with people and with the weather changing I may at the end of this week start taking my son who got the motorcycle, I may have to start giving him rides again. We'll see. Oh, and the car's having issues, and so that's an extra stress. Uh, the Tomorrow, I'm taking kids to the eye doctor, which is 45 minutes away, so that's gonna be quite the trip and take quite a few hours. Uh, I'm going to take knitting with me, probably. Hopefully, if I remember to. <laughs> Uh, Wednesday looks fairly normal. Thursday, I'm going to my friend's house for the afternoon and coming home with kittens. Yay. Friday, I am taking kids to their dad's who lives 45 minutes away. So that always takes, we live here at like somewhere around 4, between 4 and 4.30 p.m. Hit rush hour traffic. <laughs> and uh, I end up getting home here sometime between 8.30 and 9.30, depending on what's happening. Uh, if I, I don't have to, I don't think I have to worry about letting my son visit for a while and then coming back. It's whether or not my daughter, they've got something special going on in their family. So I may have to let my daughter visit for a while and bring her home and then I have to figure out something to do up there. I don't know, we'll find it out. But um, as far as I know, Saturdays, pretty calm. It's just like, normally life is this way, but if I'm going to throw a thing on you, it's all going to happen in the same week. That's how it feels. So I have a lot going on this weekend, so therefore, I'm trying to be a little chill. Huh? <laughs> Odd my crochet. So for the mosaic, um, I was going to bring out, I've got my chart. I write, I I um, mark off the charts I print it out and then um, draw a line through when I'm done so I can keep track of where I'm at and on the current color I have one two three four five six seven eight row or uh, rows across left for this color uh, if I had been working on it a couple weeks ago I was a or last week I don't know had them in that long since I wasn't feeling great so I didn't actually do much yarn anything and so there was quite a few days I did nothing if I hadn't been for that I probably would already be on to the next color 
but as it is, I've got eight rows left. But I try, have been trying, when I sit down to do it, I try to work on, do two rows across and count that, you know, that's like, yay, I did my work for today. Because this week is extra, I am actually only going to try to do one row a day, which means next week I will stop two rows because I don't work on Sundays on this project. And so today's Monday, so I'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's six days. So if I can get it done, then I will only have the two rows to finish up next Monday and I'll be able to move on to a new color, which is exciting. Uh, the videos for that where I show the project and kind of keep you updated on that come out on Tuesdays. So come back tomorrow to see how it's coming, what it looks like. And of course, you'll want to check back a week from tomorrow to see what the section looks like because it will be done in theory. <laughs> okay, so for Mosaic, that's my plan. That's what I'm doing for that. Uh, another thing I will show you, I don't usually show this on here either because I'm also putting this on my um, Tuesday videos because I started doing the 10 gram challenge and not doing very good at it. But I try to do three rows across on my sweater. So I have three panels, I'm working them across, I work all the way across all three panels, all the way back across all three panels. And I keep going like that. Um, and three of those all the way across is 10 grams. So I am still going to try to do the 10 grams each day. We'll see how that goes. But this is how far it's come. Um, there are one, two, three, four buttonholes. And then I also have marked here where, so like I do, I mark the row as I'm going along the row I do the buttonhole on so that when I come back, I don't have to be like holding them up and trying to make sure I know exactly where my buttonhole goes. So I've marked that, I can't see this one because it's red, but it's there. Um, and so I do have the buttonholes on this one right here. And there are, let's see, if I hold, put my fingers up to it, it's approximately four fingers between things. And I've got my pinky left to go before I put my, another, my next buttonhole in. And then, um, so that buttonhole should get put in this week for sure, because that's probably today and tomorrow maybe tomorrow the buttonhole will go in. Um, and then I've got to start kind of keeping an eye on this because at 13 inches is where um, I have to start following the um, neck shaping for these pieces. So this will just keep working up for a few more inches and the neck piece. So that I don't have a tape measure with me right now, but I think I put this piece of paper up to this just to kind of get an idea. And so this is about 11 and a half inches tall and I'm supposed to do the thing at 13. So I should also start doing my neck stuff this week as well. That would mess with my 10 gram challenge, but I don't think I'm gonna really worry too much about that uh, for the first few days, but maybe I'll add an extra row in on when it starts getting a little bit shorter. We'll see. I don't know. So that's the 10 gram challenge that if it wasn't cables, I probably would be done with that, at least this part, because um, if it was just stocking net, it'd be zip, 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 right? But because it's cables, um, it, cables in my opinion are easy but they also take a little bit of work because you have to pull the stitches front or back and then work across and then work across and so it gets a little complicated, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna put the picture of the bird of the month up here so that you can compare it to this yarn. Let's see if I put them kind of close together. 
Um, this yarn is what's left from when I made slippers for my daughter. Um, and the bird of the month for October, just in my opinion, matches so well with this. So, and since I love this color and I have been jealous, I've been jealous of my daughter's slippers because they're so pretty and I'm like, I want that color, I want that color. Um, I am planning to, I think I'm going to try to make a cowl, probably crochet because it will go faster if I can find a stitch pattern or a pattern pattern because a cowl pretty much just have to make a tube as big around as you want it. Uh, so I can find a stitch pattern and just make up my own or I can find a cowl pattern that's already done. And just, I don't know how much, how far this will go, but I just will figure I, f I do maybe a two to four, you know, a one to four row repeat, then, um, it shouldn't be, I should be able to get it as much of this done and get it as long as I need it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to play with it, but that's also on the plans for this week is to, today to figure out what my pattern is going to be. That is my goal for today. And then um, I need to start working on this because I really want to get the cowl done this week so that that is done off to her. Um, I only have, I think two weeks to get it done, not even two weeks. I don't know, maybe two weeks. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head when the day is. I will link the video announcing this cowl down below so you can go follow it and see how that's doing. Um, for things we're making Thursday, today is uh, today's my project. When I take my son to work, I'm gonna hop over to Hobby Lobby because they're kind of closest, close, close-ish, um, and get some orange cotton yarn because I am I got this Halloween towel and it's just I folded it in half and then did my blanket stitch across the top I'm going to be redoing my towel prep tutorial as soon as I've got everything I need to do the recording um, and so I'm gonna go buy some orange yarn maybe I should take this with me eh, the, the pumpkin is not that you can't really tell on here but the pumpkin is not the same orange as this and so it will be fine whatever I have a plan for it um, and I'm trying cotton yarn in these since I do just throw these in the wash acrylic kind of gets funky looking so uh, things we're making Thursday theme is Halloween, so come back on Thursday to see how I'm doing. I'm hoping, I'm designing a pattern, a towel topper for Halloween, um, and I'm hoping to, I don't, I'm hoping that I can get it recorded this month, um, and the pattern written up, but there are no guarantees. Pattern writing, like uh, designing the pattern? not so bad. I don't have a problem with that. I can even take notes. It's taking those notes and putting them into a pattern and making sure I have pictures in the pattern. I, it's hard for me because I learned to read patterns back in the 80s and there weren't really pictures in the patterns. You just got the patterns and hoped that you knew how to make the stitches. So this idea of, oh, you need to put pictures in your patterns. I'm like, but, but, but. So yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm trying to hopefully get that done this week as well, or at least get quite a quite a ways on that. Uh, my sweater is another project that I'm working on, and so I thought I'd show you where it's at. So we've got here, if I wanted a super cropped sweater, I could put a little bottom on it and be done, but I'm not the kind of person. In fact, I want mine to kind of go even longer. So I'm not following 
uh, the increase thing that they have, I do still have my markers on because that will help me to keep track of my changes in the pattern versus theirs. Um, but so it's like, okay, the first four will be in this purple color because that will tell me that's their count uh, at different places because I want it to get bigger sooner so I have them a little sooner because I want to add more in because I am shaped like a pear. Um, I've got that, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a pear shape. I've had a pear shape since I was 95 pounds. Like I've always been, um, I've always had to buy, be careful buying dresses. When I was skinny, I could get away with some dresses, but I always had to be careful what I was buying because I always had a bigger bottom size than top size, always. My 17-year-old um, daughter is the same. She's very much a pear-shaped body and she's, you know, she's a thin young lady. Um, and now that I'm also older and I've been through health things, like, it's not just pear this way, but I also got the little belly thingy a little bit. I am losing weight, but anyway, that's that's another story. That's, that's about my health. That's about what I can and cannot eat. Find out you're allergic to salt my corn and it just affects your everything. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm doing more increases than the pattern says, but I like it. I like how the little, um, the part of why I chose this pattern was because I wanted to learn how they got those little texture thingies. Um, across here and there's three rows of those and that's why I was like I want to know how they did that because I really like how it looks so I'm excited for this pattern I, I seriously I love this it's at a point now we're just knitting around have to increase every few rounds you know every two three inches whatever and uh, knit 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 forever um I think I meant 244 stitches around right now. I had 366 before I put the sleeves on cables and then went down and I've increased up. I think I'm at 244. I might be at 248. Doesn't matter. Um, and then, so of course on Sundays I work on my temperature hats. The weather is doing weird stuff right now. So it's like, Drop down, went back up, drop down. Um, not sure if where the, the high is going to be this week. So that will be interesting. Um, I do show that project um, like at the beginning of every new month. So uh, the first little bit of November right after Halloween, I will show you that um, update on that. And so before I go on to talk about the hats, the tithing hats, which is what I, I have a whole bunch of stuff here to show you. I did want to say I bought this. I ended up with a little extra money. This is Retro Stripes. I bought it to see if my daughter or I would make something with it. I think the colors are really pretty but I also like crocheting and knitting wearables and nobody in my house will wear these colors. But they're really pretty. My kids are like, those aren't retro. And I'm like, oh, hello. This screams 80s, babies. This screams 80s. Uh, anybody who was actually alive in the 80s probably remembers these colors from the 80s. A lot of people don't realize some of the colors that were happening in the 80s. Um, there was a period in the 80s where everything was pastel. Everybody was wearing pastel. And if you don't believe me, you go watch MacGyver. He was wearing pastel jackets, like suit jackets, pink jackets, and things like that. Pastels were a big thing. These are brighter. 
uh, after the pastels, they started going into fluorescence, but not all of, like, this is not quite fluorescent, but this is actually my favorite version of it. They had kind of a pastel -y fluorescent that I gravitated towards. I'm like, if I'm going to wear pastels, then I'm going to wear a little bit fluorescent when I had, I remember a shirt that I had that it had this yellow, this orange, this pink, this green, this blue. I mean, like it had these colors in kind of a splashy tie dye kind of thing. 80s. Is it 70s? No, but retro now? Guys, I was born in the 70s. And people are like, retro, and it's 80s. And I'm like, whoa. And this is a classic 80s pattern. Classic 80s, what the heck? That's what I learned to read patterns on. That's not classic, that's just normal. When you get to be a half a century or more old, it's a little weird when all of your stuff, 80s music, is now on the oldie station. Like... I mean, technically 80s is still getting paid, played on the pop stations because 80s music just like set the pop stage for pop. Like it's, it's lived, it's survived. <laughs> and it's hilarious when young kids know 80s better. Speaking of 80s, today my, um, my daughter's concert, they're doing an 80s theme. I'm so excited to go hear the choir concerts and hear them sing the little bit of 80s music. So excited for that. Anyway, so yeah, retro, it screams 80s. If you can see it in per person, um, it does come off a little bit brighter on the camera, but it's just, it's great. Uh, yeah, it takes me back. So um, let's talk tithing hats. This one here, I just finished today and I have about four feet of this yarn left. So um, unlike some of my hats, I didn't start at the top. And I kind of wish I would have because then I could have just gone till it got the right length. And I probably, well, although I probably still would have either had the um, four feet or less left over because I just used what I had, but I wanted to see if I could make it all in one color. Um, I had a spot that had a knot, so that took out quite a few inches as well, which is kind of frustrating. But yeah, so this is my finished hat that I just finished this morning. It was two rounds done from being done last night, so I hurried and finished it this morning. So I had this hat, but I wanted to show you because the weather is dropping, I have things. I wanted to pull out all my stuff that I'm taking to my neighbor so she can give it away. So you guys may remember, I am passing this along. Um, there's, she takes them to a place where they, it's, it's church. And they also kind of have a little store. It's not really a store because they give things to free, but it's, a transitional church so they ha it's open to homeless but also a lot of the people who have been on the streets but they're now getting into a place they'll come to this place and so there's they some of the stuff will go to the women in those places or kids and then other stuff they will they then give to the homeless um, and so I thought even though it's Christmassy and not necessarily for a guy on the streets. Um, it's got, I don't know how well you can see the colors. It's got greens and burgundies and reds. Um, and I did this with 100 Days of Christmas last year, which was a lot of fun. Learned a lot of new stitches. I loved it, but I don't love the results. Uh, partly because I don't love wearing acrylic yarn, which this is. And... Um, there's things like how right here it kind of pulls in and I don't love that. Um, but for most people, this wouldn't be a problem. Most people would love it. I'm just can be a little picky, a little OCD about things. So I thought somebody out there will love this. And so I'm going to send it to, with my friend to give to people. And then I have these two hats. 
So I've got those two hats and a scarf. I've got, I have a bunch of these bags that I've just been shoving stuff in. I've got this one and a solid blue one and a solid green one and this striped one and this striped one. So the two brown and green ones, I'm not counting the orange one yet. Three, four, five, six, seven. Some of my more recent ones, I've got this green and blue striped, this um, orange and blue striped, and then on orange and brown, which was also another scrappy one, like finishing on the thing. How many did I count? Aw, oh, man. I'm just gonna put them all in the stack and then count. Um, so I've got these and the orange one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 hats plus the scarf that is going. Um, I think that's nice. I would love to have more to hand out, but it is what it is. Um, and I will, of course, can you continue to work on them. Depending on what I do for the hats, usually they take, sometimes I can get one completely done in a Sunday. Just depends on what's going on for that Sunday and what kind of things, like some of these striped ones took me a little more. Um, and sometimes I get, it takes me two Sundays. So I may have one or two more that I can send however soon she picks them up for me or I take them to her. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm really thrilled to be able to give them and continue working on them. Um, and hopefully be able to take more this year, plus take more um, when the weather starts clear, um, warming up instead of taking them to her right away. I can um, go put them, I can start collecting them again. And if I like, it feels good to take them. It feels good to be of service. So, um, that's it, guys. I have a lot going on this week. Come back tomorrow to see my mosaic come back. Hopefully Wednesday. I don't know if my daughter's worked on anything. Um, but I do hope to at least visit with her on the channel here. Thursday... Uh, I'm hoping to get my things for making Thursday video up and show you my progress on my um, towel topper. Friday, I do have some finished objects to show you. So, anyway, um, oh, I guess a hat's close by. A bunch of hats. I'll just grab a bunch. Ha! Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.